module 7 of the organic chemical technology course and we discuss about the polymer industry, different type of the polymers. Today, we will be discussing about the elastomer means the natural robot and the synthetic robot and the next uh, two, three lecture that will be on the synthetic fiber. So, the coverage of the lecture that will be the introduction, various synthetic robot and monomer styrene butadiene rubber, which is the one of the most widely used rubber, natural and synthetic rubber historical review, polybutadiene, polyisoprene, polycropene, hypermine, spandex. These are the some of the other synthetic rubber that we are making. I will go very quickly uh, uh, on this uh, polyisoprene, polycropene or the hypermine. Uh, we will be discussing more detail about the synthetic robot and the polybutadiene. Why the importance of the polybutadiene? You know the polybutadiene in the petrochemical complexes, we are having the cracker plant. So, the butadiene one of the very important feed stock for making uh, for the which you are getting from the C4 steam of the uh, your cracker plant. And this is the reason why the reliance and the even the Haldia refinery where they are having naphtha cracking they are recovering the butadiene and in case of the reliance hajra they are having the polybutadiene plant and uh, ioc panipat refinery they are going to have the sbr plant so, this lecture 4 will be all in the elastomers styrene butadiene rubber polybutadiene nitrile rubber and some of the other specialized rubbers which i discuss you elastomers are used in variety of industrial medical and household products and major portion of the elastomer consumption goes into tire. Next largest product sector is the lactase gold. And you see the importance of the um, elastomer or the rubber when a child is um, he start walking and the playing. So, first he start playing with the ball and that ball is from the synthetic rubber. And so, the there has been revolution in case of this synthetic rubber manufacture all over the world because of the coming of the large number of the petrochemical complexes and the availability of the raw material which was earlier through the non-petrochemical route. There are two major type of the elastomers that is the one is based on the natural rubber, a product of the tropical tree, heva, breastlings and the synthetic rubber a family of materials derived from the petrochemical region. So, these are the some of the tropical country they are producing the natural rubber. India is also one of the major nature rubber producer, but in synthetic rubber that is playing in the important role and that is the important part of the elastomers. Major producer of the natural rubbers are um, natural rubber producing country are Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Africa, Latin America, Brazil, Cambodia, Nigeria, Sri Lanka, Thailand and India. Demand for the natural rubber is estimated to have been around 10.9 million tons in 2011, out of which around 45 percent was from Asia. So, this is the you can see the some of the country which are producing, um, they are the Asian country which are making huge amount of the um, this natural rubber. Let us discuss some of the historical background because this is the so far the elastomer or the rubber is concerned. This is not the uh, from uh, from the ancient time even in the 1525 you see the elastic ball reported by Mexico tribal people that was the uh, 1735 first scientific study of the rubber by Charles Dillac and then the 1824 plant, planting of the rubber in India at the Travancore that was started. 1832 Rossberg factory was set up for rubber goods with non vulcanized rubber because the one of the in case of the rubber uses the vulcanization of the rubber which you are doing even the in case of the tire uh, where uh, the vulcanized rubber that is being used. Methyl 1914 methyl isoprene rubber in Germany, 1845 
that was the Numity tire that was introduced, first commercial plantation 1903, first large scale commercial production of butyl that was 19 under 10, 1914 to 80 methyl isoprene rubber in Germany. And you see the lot of the development earlier uh, also I told you that during the World War I and World War One and World War Two, lot of the development took place in case of the chemical industry just to the rising demand which were also required from the war point of view and so that led to the development number of the your petrochemical um, important petrochemicals. So, methyl isoprene rubber in Germany that was in 1940, 1930 organic polysulfide rubber, neoprene production start in 1931, 1932 first synthetic rubber plant in US. USSR and 1930 Bunayas made in USSR. As you know the Dunlop, now there are other players also they are making the uh, tire, Modi rubber and other uh, seat and so number of the plants are now there. But first it was in 1936, first automatic tire factory by Dunlop that was started in India, 1963 first synthetic rubber plant in India that was the I told you earlier also by discussing the raw material and the petrochemical because synthetic chemicals and barely that was the first non petrochemical root plant which was started in Bareilly, but due to some other reason that unit is now closed. But that was the first plant where the molasses and beet uh, that was the molasses to ethanol and ethylene bitter in all those products they were made from the uh, your molasses rule. 1976 first nitrile rubber by synthesis chemical, 1978 first polybutadine plant in India by IPCL now Reliance at Badodra that was the because you see the Reliance Badodra in it earlier it was the IPCL that is one of the largest you can say the integrated petrochemical complex where uh, power 18 to 19 plants are there although at that time the capacity that was ok, but in the um, now all those capacity are not at the world level and so the, the plant capacity less in all those units. Reliance industry Hajra they started manufacturing the polybutadine and now the IOC Panipat uh, SBR plant in the pipeline and so shortly there will be that is in the action phase. So, SBR plant that is coming where there will be using the butadine from the cracker pond and then the styrene they will be making, the ethylene they will be using. So, that is the new plant that is coming uh, at the IOC Panipat refining. Now, let us discuss about the synthetic robots. Synthetic robots have slowly replaced the natural robots and have undergone various development for application in automotives chemical industry because automotive is the one of the major consumer of the rubber. Chemical industry we are having the you are using the rubber lining of the equipment that is being done in various other application um, appliances also we are using uh, the rubber goods. So, energy generation, sports, aerospace industry these are all where you are using the synthetic rubber in some or other form. Uh, this is the how the development in case of the natural rubber and the synthetic rubber that has taken place. Um, so, let us discuss the what are the various type of the synth synthetic rubber that is available. So, first is the major is the styrene butadine rubber, the second is the polybutadine rubber because in case of the SBR we need the thiol benzene and thiol benzene to styrene. So, the in case of the because the polybutadine also one of the very important um, your rubber. So, the uh, reliance they are making the polybutadine not the SBR. Another important that was the nitrile rubber with the where the butadine and electronitrile rubber because that was uh, again requirement of the time during World War C land because the oil rest, uh, resistance towards the oil. So, this was the one of the very important development during that with nitrile rubber. Vinyl pyridine, styrene, butadine rubber, butyl rubber and the chloro, uh, 
chlorobutyl lower polyisoprene that is because the isoprene now they as I while discussing the C 4 C 5 discuss the isoprene about 8 to 10 percent that is available from the C 5 stream of the cracker plant. So, the or the FCC. So, that can be recovered and that isoprene can be made available to the synthetic rubber enzyme. So, that is the how the otherwise the natural source is of course, the vinyl pyridine, butadine rubber, nitrile, uh, chloropene, various combination of the uh, your monomers are there. Then the styrene block columnar SBC that is also one of the very important outlet for the styrene, ethylene, propylene, rubber, epidium chloropene rubber, fluorocarbon rubber and the polysilicon silicon rubber that is also one of the very important class and the polyacrylate rubber, polysulfide rubber, urethane rubber, latex and foam. So, these are the some of the broad range of the synthetic fiber that we are making, but among all these SBR, polybutadine and the nitrile rubber these are the um, very important. Uh, synthetic rubber that is being uh, that has having the wide application in the industry. These are the some of the monomer that we are using ethylene, propylene, butadine, isobutylene. So, these are all the products you see the you are getting through the now with the petrochemical isobutylene also that is uh, while discussing C4 I told you the MTB and the, that can be cracked at the height uh, your hydration that was the another route so that will be just uh, uh, will be getting the isobutylene and the for the rubber gate polymerization gates high purity isobutylene from the uh, cracker plant or it may be the, uh, from the C 4 steam of the cracker plant at the FCC. So, that is also so all these four again the styrene also we need the thai ethylene benzene this all that you can get from the petro even in case of the cracker from itself you can get the benzene and the ethylene and then ethyl benzene and then the again the development of the alkylation process the development the catalyst that has led to the manufacture more and more important uh, manufacture of the styrene. Another important feed is talked at the acronitrile isoprene of course and that I told you that the isoprene that is one of the again it is available from the C 5 steam. Acronitrile because you see the acronitrile earlier it was made from the acetylene route which I told you the while discussing the, uh, the petrochemicals, but acronitrile now that is available through the propylene route which is being now the most of the acronitrile that is being. So, that has also played important role in providing the uh, feed stock for the synthetic rubber industry. This is another very for the silicon rubber dimethyl iloxane that is the another for the silicon rubber sodium tetrasulfide ethylene dichloride, tycol they are very using and the polyester the uh, polyether for the urethane rubber. So, these are the uh, some of the important uh, monomer for this synthetic rubber industry. Uh, this is the importance of the rubber which I told in the automotive sector, because huge amount of the um, rubber that we are using in case of the automobile industry. So, one of the major consumer is the tire, you see the uh, whether it is the two wheeler, three wheeler or the four wheeler you need the tire and so the tire and even the tire now we are having the two blaze tire or the earlier it used to be tube and the tire in all the cases that we need the rubber. So, that was the one of the major and the chain belt piles, side walls, carcass, inner, ground mode, bumper hose, bushing, fan belt, damper. So, these are the some of the actually the so for the automobile sector where the application of the rubber is there. Now, let us discuss about the styrene butadine rubber, which is one of the most widely used elastomer in the world because of the ability, because of the flexibility in the raw material either from the molasses root or from the petrochemical. 
So, styrene butane number is known as Bruna as also. There has been significant development in the process technology of a styrene butane rubber manufacture. Amongst the various processes which we are using emulsion polymerization with styrene butane rubber is most commonly used method. The cold process of the emulsion polymerization has been replaced with the hot polymerization process. And as I told you in India the first SBR, SBR styrene butane rubber manufacture was started by synthetic and chemical spray in 1963. The unit is now closed because of the, their own problem and the although the butadine because the another important for the styrene butadine is the um, rubber is the butadine uh, raw materials. Although butadine again is recovered from the cracker plant, it can be also made from the ethanol road. Styrene is made from the ethyl benzene by alkylation of the benzene with ethylene which can be also recovered from the FCC as I told you that the, now the interest is there why not to recover that ethylene which is available in the FCC gases. If, although the, uh, the amount of the ethylene that is less it is below 10 percent, but it is a that can be used uh, for the alkylation process and now the technology are available for the direct FCC gas can containing ethylene that can be used uh, for the making of the styrene pattern in the world means the styrene. The styrene means the thylum engine it will be first and then the styrene. So, styrene butane in rubber is made by emulsion polymerization at 50 degree centigrade. Initiation occur through reaction of potassium peroxide uh, disulfate with uh, n dodecyl mercaptan. So, the chain propagation occurs by growing chain free radical of mercaptyl attaching either butadine or styrene. The reaction is terminated at around 60 to 75 degree centi 60 to 75 percent of the completion of the reaction on the acted butadine and styrene are recovered. So, other actually additives are also added antioxidant is added followed by coagulation washing and the dyeing. It is used as elastomer, emulsion and solution used in the tires, tire related product, uh, mechanical goods, automotive use, adhesive and the shoe products. Another important tactic under the polystyrene butadine uh, that is the SBS. SBS is a hard rubber which is used for the soles of the shoes tire teats and other places where durability is important. Now, you see the earlier we used to have the shoe soles made of the leather. Now, with the coming of the synthetic um, rubber and the urethane rubber especially, a lot of the durability of the earlier we used to have the cracking. Um, so, durability is much longer of the shoe. So, this is one of the another actually the advantage in case of the synthetic rubber. It is a type of the copolymer called a block copolymer. This is the process for the manufacture of SBR, the styrene butadine that is going to the monomer type mixing and the polymerization reactor where the reaction that is taking place and as I told you this after the completion 60, 75 point conversion that is going to the monomer recovery where the monomer again it is recover here that is going to recycling and you are getting the latex as such it can be used or it will go for the coagulation then the styrene butadine rubber drying and the bailing that may be done. So, this is the process for the manufacture of SBR. Uh, I was uh, talking about the SBS. Its backbone chain is made of three segments. Uh, first segment polystyrene, second polybutadine, and third is the polystyrene. So, this is the combination of styrene, butad, um, polystyrene, butadine, styrene. So, a polystyrene is a tough, hard plastic and this gives SBS its durability. 
now let us discuss about the polybutadiene because this is another important uh, derivative of the butadiene also and at the same time one of the important poly uh, your synthetic rubber. So, before going for in detail about the polybutadiene process, what are let us discuss what are the sources of the butadiene app although I have discussed this while discussing the petrochemical. The butadiene steam cracker is major source of butadiene. Other rules for butadiene are catalytic dehydrogenation of the but that butenes, catalytic dehydrogenation of the butane. So, these are the two other and this because these two we can recover from the FCC gases, the C4 gases. This is the reason why the C4 gases of the cracker plant as well as the FCC they are they have become very important source for the value addition to the refinery or the petrochemical complex which was not being done earlier. So, in future we may have the more and more utilization of the C4 and C5 especially and some of the raw material which is which will play important role in the development of the synthetic rubber industry. So, poly with the ability of the polybutadiene as I told you the and in the cracker plant manufacture of the polybutadiene has increased significantly in the recent year because we are having now the uh, large capacity cracker plant naphtha earlier we st as I told you and during the naphtha cracking we started in only 2000 20000 now we are having 8 lakhs ton plus 8 lakhs ton capacity naphtha cracker plant so amount of butadiene that is generated but, uh, very high and so that has led to the development of the either SPR or the polybutadiene rubber. So, for the process is concerned polybutadiene is made by free radical emulsion, alkali methyl solution and the transition metal coordination solution process. Most processes are based on the solution process, process large volume use of the polybutadiene rubber has been primarily in blend with the other polymers. Blend with the SPR or natural rubber has improved the crack resistance. Cracking and abrasion resistance is very good in case of the polybutadiene. <coughs> it is characterized with the high abrasion and the crack resistance, better resistance to heat degradation and the blowouts. Good hysteresis properties, large scale use in the tire card, modification of the plastic conveyor and the V belts again the conveyor and the V belts now for the transportation of the raw material in the industry um, lot of the number of the belt conveyors we are having and many equipments we are having the V belts sports coat because that is also one of the major consumer all the amount that may be less if you compare with the other users but that is also one of the and even the sports from the if you see the sports even the football which you are saying are the balls which you are getting now there is a lot of the changes in the raw material configuration. Foot trivia that is also one of the important consumer of the polybutadiene and the of course that is the tire industry. Polybutadiene double is made by the polymerization isobutylene. Ice, as I told you the isobutylene can be recovered from C4 steam, from steam cracker and the FCC. Other route for isobutylene are dehydrogenation of isobutene and n-butene, isomerization in gas phase using the platinum catalyst. The polymerization is carried out in slurry of the monomer in methyl chloride using an aluminum chloride catalyst at 100 degree to 90 days. The rubber is precipitated by adding water and finally washed and dried. Butyl rubber has unique elastomeric qualities, low rate of gas permeability, thermal stability, good ozone and weathering resistance, vibration damping and higher coefficient of friction, chemical and moisture resistance used in the tubes, tire inner liner due to low permeability of air 
automotive, mechanical parts, adhesive and sealant. So, these are the some of the major application of the polybutadiene rubber and so this is one of the um, very important properties the low permeability of the air. Another important class of the synthetic rubber is the nitrile rubber, which I told you that is the combination of the acrylonitrile and butadiene and the both earlier as I told you the starting phase of the nitrile rubber that was through the non petrochemical route. So, acrylonitrile and butadiene copolymers are commonly known as the nitrile rubber. Acrylonitrile 18 to 15 percent with increase in the acrylonitrile resistance to and this I was telling the oil seal because the oil leakage uh, resistance to the oil leakage in case of the nitrile load is very high. So, the resistance to oil fuel abrasion and heat increases higher tensile strength hardness gas impermeability. So, these are the if you are increasing the uh, acrylonitrile content. So, the effect will be the more resistance to oil, fuel, abrasion and heat. Low temperature resistance, resilience, plasticizer compatibility decreases, requires less sulfur, more oscillators than SBR, highly oil resistance. These are the some of the characteristic of the nitride rubber. Application fuel hose collapsible containers nitrile rubber may be reinforced by phenolic resins and PVC. Resistance to ozone, weathering, better gloss, bright color, high resistance to abrasion and oil. A basic polymerization receipt in addition to the monomer contains water stabilizer, emulsifier, salt stuff catalyst activator and electrolytes. A free radical generating catalyst is added and the mixture is agitated. Following polymerization cycle, material is transferred to the blow down tank in which the salt stuff and the antioxidants are added and residual monomer are recovered and which is again recycled to the reactor. The finally, the latex is concentrated as others while discussing we discuss the we can have in the latex form which can be coagulated, washed, dewatered and finally dried. Nitrile level is used in so, seals, o-rings, caskets, oil field parts, diaphragm, gloves, belts, wire cable, insulation, hose pipes, footwear, shoe products, molded double goods. Now, discuss another important class of the synthetic rubber that is the pile polyisoprene. That was the actually the importance in case of the recovery of the isoprene from the C5 assay. So, polyisoprene is one of the most well known natural elastomer derived from the uh, heaven or tree because you see the isoprene that is the purple that is the natural uh, rubber that is the what we are having. But synthetic polyisoprene is also possible and so that is made by the polymerization of the isoprene which can be recovered from the C4, C5 gas from the C5 gases because after recovery of the C4 gases that will go to the isoprene and there actually some problem in separation because of the close boiling point and the liquid extraction that we are separating the isoprene and that is the isoprene that can be used in that from the if you are going from the C5 route from the C5 gas. So, isoprene polymerization is carried out in an inert hydrocarbon solvent, aliphatic solvent. Basic steps involved in case the manufacture of the polystyrene are raw material preparation, purification, polymerization, catalyst deactivation, and removal, solvent recovery, polymer. Dying. So, these are the basic steps involved in the manufacture of polyisoprene. Uh, another important class of the 
synthetic rubber that is a neoprene polychloropene. Polychloropene is made by emulsion polymerization process using resin as a soap emulsifier. Polymerization is carried out at 40 degrees centigrade in presence of the sulfur. Some of the major application of the polychloropene is in adhesive, transportation industry, wire and cable, construction industry, hose and belting. Usage Adhesive, transportation, automotive gaskets, V belts, shock absorber covers, wire jackets, molded seats, aviation wire cable, gasket seats, etc. Rail brake hose, uh, track mounting. So, these are the some of the major application of the polychloropene. Uh, chloropene again here also the same acetylene route is available. So, that can be made from the acetylene or the butadiene route because earlier when the butadiene was not from the petrochemical so acetylene that was the route, route for making of the chloropene. So, acetylene route involves dimerization of the acetylene to monovinyl acetylene followed by the action of monovinyl acetate with SCL. So, this was the method that was developed earlier with the for the acetylene route. And so, polymerization in case of the neoprene that is uh, polychloropene is carried out at 40 degrees centigrade in presence of the some sulfur. Some of the major application already we discussed about the polychloropene that the adhesive transportation industry, wire and cab cable construction, hose and belting. Uh, chlorobutyl rubber. So, here chlorobutyl rubber is made from the isoprene and isobutylene and 1 3 percent the isoprene. Introducing a continuous system of chlorine gas in hexane because along with this isobutylene and isoprene chlorine that we are using. So, the introducing a continuous system of the chlorine gas in hexane solution of butyl which is prepared by low temperature co permission of the isobutylene and isoprene methyl chloride makes the chlorobutyl. So, this is the process we are using for making of the chlorobutyl rubber. What is the advantage of the chlorobutyl? Chlorobutyl level possesses greater vulcanization, vulcanization because that is the one of the major part of the process when you are using the rubber in the tire and vulcanization of the rubber that is being carried out. So, the vulcanization flexibility and tubeless tar. Now, the most of the uh, new breed of the cars will find the you are having the tubeless tires. So, tire side wall components, heat resistance truck inner tubes, hose pipes, gaskets, conveyor belts, adhesive sealants, tire curing bags and the tank lining etcetera. So, these are the some of the uses of the. Now, let us discuss about the silicon rubber that is the poly polyzolo exchange. The silicon elastomers are made by ring opening reaction caused by action of alkali on monomer acrylic uh, siloexane characterized by exceptional mechanical and electrical performance under extreme temperature condition. So, the this is one of the very specialized rubber you can say and we discuss about the while discussing the polymer elastomer and the synthetic fiber how we are um, doing the one is the your special uh, elastomers and another was the which you are using commonly used elastomer. So, this is coming in case of the specialized elastomer. So, because of the exceptional mechanical and electrical performance under extreme point, it is uh, used in the aero aerospace uh, appliances, electrical industry, construction industry, automotive industry, gasket sailing, spark plug boards, hose, rubber rolls. So, these are the 
now one of the another actually I told you the rubber importance of the rubber that is the calendaring and other dis we discuss by discussing the paper the press rules or the um, final uh, MF uh, this glaze mesh uh, rules was there. There we are using the rubber line rules are there that is available. So, even some of the chlorine application we are doing the lining with the chlorine also of the. So, this is the about the not only about the silicon, but it was the another uh, major application of the synthetic rubber. So, this is the so far the silicon rubber is concerned, this is used in aerospace appliances, electrical industry, construction industry, automobile, automotive industry, gas case lining, spark plug boards, hose, rubber rolls. Fluorosilicon rubber, this is another specialized rubber, is characterized by its excellent low temperature flexibility, very good heat resistance, excellent aging characteristic. However, it has poor resistance to aromatic hydrocarbons and common polar solvent. So, this is the another class of the synthetic rubber. Polyurethane rubber, this is made by reacting polyisocyanates and polyhydroxyl group using curing agent. Good abrasion resistance, iron solvent resistance, oxygen, oxygen ozone resistance and the temperature resistance. So, this is the actually the uh, some of the characteristics of the polyurethane rubber. Another very important class of the space your specialized elastomer is the ethylene propylene. Uh, this is made by the ethylene propylene rubber that is the it is made by polymerization of the ethylene propylene diene in using Ziegler type the catalyst in combination of the transition metal halides and the metal gain. Adding poor polar material means water stops the polymerization, unpolymerized monomers are recovered and rubber is separated from the solvent by steam. Rubber flocks are because of the flocculation that we are carrying, the rubber flocks are crumb or dewater and dried. So, this is about the ethylene uh, EPDM. EPDM is has outstanding resistance to heat, ozone oxidation, weathering and aging due to the saturated backbone, low brittle point, glass transition temperature, low density except the aliphatic. Another class of the synthetic rubber is the hyperlone. Hyperlone are the chlorosulfonated polyethylene and are made by free radical catalyzed reaction of the chlorinated and SO2 with polyethylene. So, hyperlone is characterized by ozone resistance, light stability, heat resistance, weather ability, resistance to deterioration by corrosive chemicals, weather ab ability, resistance to the deterioration of the corrosive chemical, good oil resistance, flame resistance and the toughness. So, these are the some of the important characteristics of the high uh, These are the some of the uh, in, in case of the hyperlone automatic car liner coatings, spark plug boots, primary and ignition wire, tarpaulins that we call it for the lining that uh, sometimes we are using. Earlier it was very common use of the tarpaulins for the hose, conveyor belt, coated fabrics. Another class of the synthetic rubber that is the spandex. Spandex is a polyurethane elastomer which has both urea and urethane linkage and has hard and soft blocks in its repeat structure. Polysulfide rubber, polysulfide rubber has outstanding resistance to oil, gasoline and solvent, good resistance to weather, ozone and sunlight, excellent 
impermeability to gases and vapor, it has poor resistance to abrasion, tear, tear cut growth and the low tensile strength. Ethylene vinyl acetate rubber EVA which is um, very commonly known as EVA, EVA has excellent resistance to because this was the, with the availability of the vinyl acetate, EVA has excellent resistance to heat, ozone and sunlight, moderate resistance to oil and gasoline. It has poor resistance to aromatic and oxygenated solvent fair process ability. So, these are the some of the advantages and the, and the EVA that is the also one of the specialty. So, this was all about the um, elastomer and, and the various type of the some of the elastomers I could not discuss in detail, but um, in the next lecture will be now on the two lex three lectures of this module that will be on the synthetic fiber industry, where we will be discussing about the first phase about the uh, caprolectum nylons, nylon 6, nylon 66, then it will be on the um, terethylic acid, purified terethylic and polyester, another uh, lecture that will be on the acrylic fiber and the last lecture that will be on the viscose rayon, acetate rayon and the cryptoaminium rayon because that is also one of the very important sector of the synthetic fiber. So, introduction of the synthetic fiber, raw material and other aspect that we will be discussing in detail in the next lecture.